Hello and welcome to this new episode in which we are going to focus on how to store data using Firestore within Angular application. So to use Firestore, we simply need to create a service and that service will make sure or will take care of any kind of operation like the create, the read, the delete and the update. And it's very, very simple and real time. So whenever you create a new data, the data will appear in real time and you're into your interface. So your your subscription will get notified and so on. So it's very, very powerful tool for front end developers, if you would. So to do that, we just need to start creating our uh, service or our first service. And to do that, I'll just open this in the terminal and create new service by just saying ng generate service and I will call it to do service. Once done, we are ready to go ahead and build our service. And to do that, we will start by the collection name. So private collection name. You can name it whatever you want. So for me, I'm going to name it to do. To do's, if you want. And this is going to be uh, actually appearing here. So you'll have a new collection called to do when we run the application and start adding data. That's what uh, what this collection name means. And then in the constructor, we need to inject the Firestore service that will help us make the CRUD operation to our Firestore instance or Firestore database. So Firestore com comes from Angular Fire and we will start adding our methods. So the first one would be uh, create new item. So this is going to be create new item. So we can call it create or create new item and it's async. Create item. And this will take data of type to do. Let's inject that. Then it will return a promise. So this promise is actually uh, going to say whether if it's succeeded or not. So there is nothing to return actually. So const, we're start going to have the item collection instance. So this is an instance of type collection. And it's a Firestore collection actually. So then we say this Firestore, which is a service that is responsible for communicating with the Firestore database and then the collection name. So that's it. We get an instance of the collection and we will use that to add a document to that collection. So we'll use the add doc. So this will add to the items collection. So we can call it items or to do's or whatever. So we'll just call it items collection here. Then we add the new document or the new data that we would like to add. And this actually is uh, of type promise, so we need to wait for it. We we'll just introduce a wait operation operator here. So that's it for the create. Now we can get the list using the same functionality or the same way to get the list. So get to do's. It's another async function. Get items if you want of type observable this time and the type is actually to do list i know that we have to do there so we can type it so that's that and then we are going to get a reference to the same collection once again and use that reference to get the data so uh, to do that we'll just say return collection data this time of the items collections then we can introduce a flag to have the field ID so we need to introduce the ID there and we can return that as our list so we don't need to do anything else to say any here why the observable is not yeah that's that so that's good 
promise of type T did you mean? Now this actually complains about the async because we don't return an observable when we have async. So now we'll remove the async and everything is good. So this will return the list of to-dos. Now let's go to the uh, get by ID, update and delete. They will use similar mechanisms. So I'm just going to pause the video to finish them and we'll get back later to see the results. So now I have introduced the three different other methods. So the get by item or get item by ID. So it will use a reference to the document with the ID using the collection name. So it will return a document, same thing for the update and the delete. So always we have a reference to the doc by ID, then we update it with the new data. Same thing for the delete. So we have we get a reference to the same that document using the slash ID. And from that we delete the document. So now our uh, service is ready to get consumed by the create component. And let's try to create uh, an item using this uh, to-do service. So to do that, you just go to your to-do um, component or create to-do component. So we will inject this service. So it's to-do service, inject to-do service, let's import the to-do service. And once everything is good, we will end up having this to post the data. So this dot service dot create item, and this is a promise. So we will inject this form value to do form dot value. And we will then have a resolved data. So let's console log for now. Save it data. That's it, and we have to dismiss this one successful. So now let's try and see if our data is introduced when we uh, create a new data into our Firebase uh, Firestore database. So to do that, we'll just create a new to do and see if it actually works. So click on clip add to do, then create my test to do. And we have a date and high. So everything worked as expected, but you don't see it here because you didn't introduce the list yet. So let's refresh here and see if we have the to-do added. As you can see, my to-do is added and the due date is actually today. And then the priority is high, my to-do as a title. So everything works well for uh, from the create section. Now we are going to introduce the list of to-dos within our um, list uh, component and to do that we'll just need to inject the service the same way we did here and use it to get the list so instead of hard coding the list I'll just remove the hard coded list from here and it will be an empty list by default then within our constructor I can get the data there so so first we need to inject the service that's done and this to-do list will give us a list of to-dos dot get items. And we can subscribe to the data that is received and show it here. So to-do list is equal to data. So now let's go back to the application. As you can see, we have one to-do. And of course, we have one issue is that the date that is returned is of type timestamp or Firebase timestamp, and it's not a regular date. And we need to convert it back to a regular date in case it is a timestamp. And to do that, we just go to the collection and map it back to a regular date if it is a timestamp, and just leave it as is if, not, if it is not a timestamp and it is of type date. So instead of returning the items, we'll just go and pipe a map function there. So we'll pipe map rgx rxgs map function. Then we'll take items. So that map function will receive items. And from items, we can map each item to some kind of uh, item with regular date if the item is or uh, item due date is of type timestamp. So check if the due date 
is instance of timestamp. And if it's the case, we have to convert it back using the to do to date actually function. So if item of due date or the due date attribute is instance of timestamp, which comes from Firestore, we need to convert that item back to or the due date of that item to uh, a date. So return everything within the item and the due date would be item due date to date item due date and use the function to date so that we return a date otherwise we return just the item Uh, okay, so uh, actually this is an error and I think because I have this map So these are the curve braces that are extra curve braces that we have to remove So this will map items to items and this will map the each item to a specific item in case of due date is uh, instance of timestamp so now we will have everything solved and we can check that the data is actually show it correctly so we have this and we're going to introduce the um, priority as well and to do that we go back to the uh, this component here and then introduce priority so it's going to be of type batch so span class batch rounded peel priority or item dot priority and then the class of this will depend on whether if it's high so if it's high will be red so we'll start with text danger or not but bg danger actually but but background danger when we have high priority so item dot priority is equal to high and same thing so when it is medium it will be green and when it is low it is going to be blue so this is success and when it is low we introduce the blue color so bg or for background primary so now you will see the priority appearing there so you have high now let's try to add a new uh, entry and see if it is working so to do one two three so we'll put some kind of dates here and we'll put medium so as you can see it's added correctly there so we have our to-do list works as expected now we need to finish the uh, mark as completed and mark as incomplete and the delete features of our application and to do that we'll just need to introduce the Firestore service within the list or within those functions. So to do that here we need to call the uh, service method that is responsible of marking as complete or updating that. So to do service dot update item and we'll take the ID so item dot ID and I have to introduce this within our model. So quick fix Then it will take the item as parameter, then we can catch if errors or if succeed success. So that's that, and then we can catch the error and console log the error. So this is of type string. So that's it. Now we do the same thing here when we would like to mark as uh, incompleted. 
and we will use the same feature to delete actually when we would like to delete so delete and this will take only the id i guess yeah that's it so we need the id to delete so now when we try these different features we will see that it works as expected and it will store the data actually so let's click on that and then refresh as you can see it remains complete when we refresh we can delete it's deleted and it's no longer there we can create new to do so to do four five six you can have priority low another to do priority medium so as you can see everything is added we can always sort by date to make uh, the let's say this the uh, the first uh, depending on the due date so it will sort ascendant by date or we can uh, sort by the priority so the high the high priority task will appear in the beginning then the, we have the medium then we have the low so it depends on the preference of the user or the preference of the developer so we can always introduce that so that's it for this uh, tutorial i think we uh, covered everything related to uh, angular and firestore integration and how to uh, do the crowd operation into or in the firestore uh, database using angular it's very very simple and you don't need a back-end service for it you don't need to build any back-end code or to to build any api to uh, communicate or to do these kind of operations within firestore because everything is built in in the uh, cloud functionality of Fire, firebase so firebase will provide you an interface that gives you the data in real time so whenever you add new data it will pop up immediately for you or whenever you edit whenever you change whenever you delete whenever you mark something as red so it will immediately give you uh, the latest data of your of the database so you don't need to have a, a back-end service that fetch the data for you so that's it thank you so much don't forget to subscribe if you like the video and comment on the command section in case you have problem or you face any issues following along thank you so much